So in this uh, lecture we will be solving this numerical using the 3D vector approach and uh, uh, we need to find the resultant of all these forces. So what we have is we have a pole as shown here in the blue color and we have these three forces which three uh, three cables basically which are pulling that uh, pulling that uh, pole or uh, they are holding it in place the force in each cable is given and its uh, respective coordinates are also given so for such kind of problems the first uh, we we would go step by step so the first step in such kind of problems is always to uh, determine the coordinates so in this problem the coordinates are already given but in future or in many problems the coordinates are not directly given so step one whether the coordinates are given or not given it should always be writing the coordinates okay so o we have the origin which is 0 comma 0 comma 0 then we have a b c and d so here we have five coordinates whether they even though they have been mentioned here we simply have to just write them because it's a good habit to you know follow same uh, steps in in all the numericals so it it sort of forms an algorithm in the mind itself step two is expressing the force in vector forms because to find the resultant i need to express my forces in the in their vector formats right so f1 bar is uh, equal to now as i have told you that whenever uh, the there are coordinates involved you have to ask yourself that it is going from which point to which point this f1 is going from point d to point a correct so we can say that point d has x1 y1 z1 and point a is x2 y2 z2 so the same thing you have to substitute here and f f will be 600 newtons so you can see that this is these are the coordinates x2 y2 z2 you can get it from your a and for d it is 0 comma 0 comma 24 so we understand that this would be when you solve it it will be minus 317.647 i cap minus 282.3529 j cap minus 423.5294 k cap similarly solving for f2 and then f3 also now when we come to f2 it is going from which point to which point d to b so d will be again x1 y1 z1 b will be x2 y2 z2 these are very simple problems okay f is 400 multiplied by x2 y2 z2 x1 y1 z1 you get 173.1329 i cap minus 230.844 j cap minus 277.013 k cap then f3 bar it is going from point d to c so f is your 800 newtons this is your again x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 so it is 800 multiplied by x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 plus z2 minus z1 upon under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square when you solve it you will be getting 127.694 i cap plus 191.541 j cap minus 766.163 k cap now at this point we have expressed all our forces in their vector formats we just have to add them up to get the final resultant so these are all your forces resultant is f1 bar plus f2 bar plus f3 bar when you add these up you will just have to add their i components you will get minus 16.821 i cap plus j components minus 321.656 j cap 
प्लस के कंपोनेंट्स माइनस वन फोर सिक्स सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सिक्स के क्या फ्रॉम दिस रिजल्टेंट द द कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर और द कोइफिशिएंट्स आर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू कैन सी दैट फॉर के कैप वी आर हैविंग द हाईएस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सिक्स द रीजन फॉर दिस इज इट इट इंडिकेट्स दैट वी आर हैविंग द ग्रेटेस्ट फोर्स इन downward z z axis so if this is x axis this is y axis this obviously has to be the z axis and a uh, negative indicates that there is a downward force of 1466.706 and there has to be a downward force otherwise this pole will not be able to stand right these cables are actually pulling that pole downwards that is why there has to be a downward force so this is to be the maximum then negative 16.821 it indicates that these cables are slightly tilting this pole towards the negative x axis and again like this is if you this is your negative x axis and again in this y we are getting 321.656 so we can say that this pole is also getting um a slightly towards negative negative y axis so it is slightly inclined towards negative y axis also okay so what we can uh, do in this is now we can find the direction cosines so this is your fx fy and fz direction cosine will be Yeah, but before that we did not find the resultant, right? Resultant is R is an under root of f x square plus f y square plus m z square, which is one five zero one point six six newtons. And now after finding the resultant and all the f x, f y, and f z, we can find the direction cosines. So f x is equal to R cos alpha x. Alpha x comes out to be ninety point six four one eight degrees. Alpha y comes out to be one hundred and two point three eight six degrees, and alpha z comes out to be one sixty seven point six one three five degrees. Okay, so uh, it is interesting to check how how the resultant would be inclined. It is not absolutely mandatory to show how the result is inclined, but just for your imagination, you can think like you know if this is a positive. z axis okay so we can see from alpha z it is 167.6135 let us say that i bring the result to this origin so if a result is like this you can see that this angle from from the z axis would be around 167.61 degrees let us say then with alpha x it is almost uh, almost 90 degrees And with alpha y, it is forming 102 degree, 102.36 degrees something. So see, just for your, uh, you you have to imagine this, how how the resultant should be inclined, because this problem gives us the direction cosines anyways, okay? And it's not mandatory to show it on the diagram, because that would be very difficult. Right so that's it with this numerical till then take care thank you